Let's look back at the highlights of a very eventful three-hour race. A packed grid, everybody entering into the spirit of being truly British on the track as the race got underway, looking back for the pole car. Wolfgang Wipe at the wheel, and he took the fastest lap of the race in his first stint as he led for the first 40 minutes or so. Early yellow flags, though, as number 11, Michael Brogniewski, was punted off the road. A spinning BMW collected by its Brazilian teammate, the sister car. Working his way up the order early on was Nicolas Lapierre in the second of the Von Rahn racing McLarens. He got himself up past Daniel Lloyd, but a full course yellow early on slowed down the pace and it brought Rob Bell into the pit lane. It was an inspired call because he lost less time under the safety car situation like that. Then drama for Wolfgang Reif, who punted into the back of a Ferrari that closed the door. He was delayed and he lost the lead as swooping round the outside of him was Marco Seafree to take over the race lead. On the hour mark, the first proper round of pit stops came, if you like, but those drivers were compromised against this car that had pitted under the full course yellow. Effectively, it gained the McLaren 40 seconds, and that was impossible to make up for the remainder of the day. The 59 McLaren, Adrian Quaife Hobbs at the wheel, was working its way into contention as well. As ready for the last hour of the race, Kevin Estra took over. Robin Frins had a problem, slowed, got the car reset, restarted, and gave way to... Lawrence Vantor for the last stint as Alvaro Parent was unceremoniously punted out of the race by Andy Suchek. There was debris all over the road as he pitted. Full course yellow once more and on the restart, Stefan Ortelli worked his way audaciously past Martin Plowman in a really good move. There was another incident involving Andy Suchek, this time with Norbert Siedler whose car was speared off the road up the escape road, heading for Pro-Am honours, 32 Aston Martin of Wilson, Leonard and Meadows and Davey Ryan no timing screen, just a good old-fashioned stopwatch was looking at how his leading car was getting on. Suchek up past Adrian Zaug, a race win for Kevin Est, Rob Bell and Shane Van Gisbergen, a Pro-Am victory for the Aston Martin behind. It's been a great race here at Silverstone.